When you're doing batch processes in Photoshop, you can do a lot more complicated actions than you can do in Fireworks. And so I'll show you how to show up one of those actions. Um, we're going to go ahead and watermark a picture. And so to start, we open the picture and then we go to our Actions tab and we go ahead and click the icon for a new one. I give it a name. This one's going to be called uh, Barton Watermark. And so once we get, now that we have the picture open, we're going to go ahead and place a logo. And so we just go up, well, you can see it's already recording. So we'll go up to place, select, in this case it's a PSD that we're going to pick place of a logo. And I've already adjusted it uh, to be beveled and to be semi-transparent. And so I'll just select where I want it to go. And then I'm going to change to be hard light and then I'll go ahead and select all the layers and merge them and I went ahead and sized it to be 800 uh, pixels wide that way it's ready for web and then I just need to select a destination and I'm gonna leave the title as it is uh, changing that will cause your whole batch to have the same name which each would just overwrite one after another. So we're going to go ahead and leave the custom name. And then we're going to go ahead and click stop on the action so it'll quit recording. Then once it's stopped, we're going to go up to go up and automate. So file automate and then batch. And you can see we've already got water Barton watermark selected. So it's going to run that process. And in that process, we decided where it's going to save so we can change the destination to be none. And then we'll go ahead and choose. That's the correct where we've got all of our Blackfoot files. And you can tell when I ran the process, I closed the files. That's important to make sure that, as you can see, it runs through each one. And part of the process is that it closes the file. And that makes sure that your RAM doesn't get eaten up by having a whole bunch of files open. And you can see it's it's filling the folder just as it should. If we go ahead and open one of these up, you can see that it's got the Barton logo down there, just like we wanted. Might make some adjustments to make it a little easier to see. But using this method, you can go ahead and have all of uh, the new files in a different folder and the old files in their original folder. So it works pretty well. I want to thank you all for watching this video this morning. Uh, for more photography tips, go ahead and head on to photographycourse.net. Uh, teaching everything from the basics to photo editing like this.